Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. In this video I'm going to take you through how I've kitbashed some Celestian Sacrosants just from normal Sisters of Battle. So the new Sacrosants are out, 30 odd quid a box. It's not the price that I've got an issue with, it's what they look like uh, and how I think they should work in the game. So the, the torsos are fine, the faces and the funny little candly bits at the back are alright, but my issue is with the shields. So you've got a shield, you're protecting yourself from heavy enemy fire, but when you want to return fire you have to swing the shield out of the way expose yourself and you can return fire with your bolt pistol that's been welded to your shield doesn't make sense so what's my solution historically they had gun shields example here where the gun would poke through the shield enable you to protect yourself and fire and that's what i'm going for so this is the final um, kind of vet before painting just showing you here so a cast up shield a bit of a pistol shooting through a uh, mace arm and then the kit bashed body so the main part of this that stands out is the shield. Now these are cast up from Morven Val. Uh, if you've watched other videos that I've done, you've seen how I've kit bashed a bodyguard unit for her. So it's the same shield from that. But we've shown you some flexibility in the green stuff there. So the first one is green stuff has been cured for a couple of days. Still a bit of flex. Second one's got quite a lot of flex because that's just come out of the mould. It's about 12 hours old. And same thing with the mace here. Quite a lot of flex in it. So why does green stuff have flex? Because we think of it as a solid substance, it's not. Uh, when you mix green stuff together, it's got the yellow and the, the blue part. You mix it together, it makes it fairly solid. Uh, when you mix it and tip, wet your fingers and squish it together or whatever. Now the more blue you mix in, the slightly harder it'll get, but it will never get fully you know, rock solid, always gonna have a bit of flex. Not a problem for a bigger model like I did the shield on the Morven Vile's bodyguard, because you're not really gonna pick them up and knock the shield, but with a smaller miniature like this, I think you're gonna to touch the shield quite often, and the fact it's got flex in it may lead down the line to some damage. So what I'm doing here is doing a mix as well. So what you've seen in that second shot with Milliput, it's a two-part mix that's exactly the same way, but it sets a little bit harder, holds a little bit less detail. But what you can do is mix green stuff and Millie put together, like you've seen here, in equal parts. Once you've mixed the two, they've been left to cure for sort of 10 minutes each, that's it. And when you mix them together, it gives you a paler coloured uh, product, which you can see, uh, pure green stuff ball and a, and a Millie put and green stuff mixed ball, which sets a lot harder. So simple then i won't go through the process of making a two-part mold i've done videos on that already which i'll link down below uh, so i just cast the shield up entirely as normal and you can see what i'm doing to put an extra layer of security in the mace is taking a little bit of uh, green stuff oil pinning wire but you could use a paper clip or something like that half filling the mold for the mace that i've made and then using that wire in the handle of uh, the mace so how do you do that i won't put it straight in i just want to check where it would be how the handle goes and literally push that into the mold and then carry on green stuffing around it and that'll give that extra layer of security when we're playing with these models because again you know millie pot and green stuff can snap and break and what you wouldn't want to then do is, is have a model that you're going to pick up because you are going to knock the mace while you're gaming uh, you are going to knock the shield just to put a, an extra layer of security in there to really solidify those models because there's no point kit bashing a model and going to the effort to do it yourself and probably saving yourself a lot of money because for the same money as five celestians you could buy a squad of 10 and do this um no point saving the money if you're then going to break them and also the other side of this is obviously this relies on you having a bit of a sisters of battle kit box so it's almost about planning your army when you do it because obviously i couldn't have done this if i'd have built and painted more than val and then came up with the idea i also couldn't have done this if i didn't have a spare mace knocking around um from my sisters now you can use blue stuff to cast up bits of models that you've already built and painted but it'll pick up less detail because you've painted it so here's the shield done with the green stuff and milliput mix straight out of the mold and as you can see no real flex in it so much better than just using pure green stuff on its own so now onto the body part of the the kit bash so this is the saint catherine element of the triumph of saint catherine model one of the best models in the sisters range uh, although i've never used it as what it's meant to be but it's a, an amazing resource for kit bashing and at some point i'll show some of my uh, others that i've done from it so this is the model if you're not sure is the one that holds the shield and the sword so i've just built the body up um use the left arm that holds the shield normally you can see they used a pin drill just to drill into the foot because this one is walking and its back foot is off the base. Uh, now I've done here a, a green stuff wood roller with the temple thing just to give a real nice base effect and it's something I've done on all my sisters. All you do, drill a hole in the foot, drill through the base and a little bit of that pinning wire you've already seen secured into the foot and then just through the base and when you super glue that on it gives an extra level of protection. Now 
on the model here you can see I'm just scraping down the back because the backpack I'm using that comes with this has a, a pistol holster off the back of it but I don't want to use that because the pistol is effectively through the shield so I clean the model up um, nothing rocket sciencey about that now you can use any sister battle body you want if you've got a spare normal sister knocking around and this is a tester for me and what I'm going to do is roll this out across a standard sister squad but I just used a body that I had available so clean up the shield and clean up the mace um, and now it's about creating the gun that's going to go through the shield so I'm just using a, a pistol coming from the sister's box now when you're cutting it down if you're not bothered about keeping the bit you're clippering off cut it in stages you know don't just hack straight through the middle of the model more chance of it going wrong cut the things out of the way that may get in the way of the clippers which i've done here and i'm just keeping the pistol from just behind where the magazine goes in so it's got the recoil system and all those pieces there just cleaning it up slightly smaller part onto the pin drill drill out the gun barrels always a useful thing to do and then a little dob of super glue just onto the front of the shield and glue it together so when you glue in the plastic and green stuff parts together you only use super glue obviously the rest of the model is just you know poly cement position it where you like now pick any any head i've taken the head from a canon s kit i believe it was because you get spare heads in there and i thought well if i first one use a, a variant head but you could use a you know celestian helmet or whatever and the arm i've used is the pointy finger arm from the sister of battle main kit the arm that you can use as an option onto your sister superiors so uh, more for the angle that the arm is coming out i did test two or three arms all would have been perfectly suitable but i went for this one same thing again if you're not precious about cutting down and saving it cut more often and gradually nip away till you get to where you're comfortable and test fit several times so just poly cemented it in place and i did leave this to dry for a while once i'd got it where i wanted um, because rather than when you glue the green stuff part on it is a bit heavier than the hand that would normally go on there so didn't film it i forgot to but on the back of the saint catherine backpack is the icon of her order which isn't appropriate for mine so i just cut that off with a hobby knife and then thought right i'll find something to go in its place and again uh, part of a canon s body that was sat in the bits box and i'm just taking the inquisition symbol there from that sprue giving it a quick tidy up and then that's going to go onto the backpack on the bare section um, that i've created by cutting off the saint catherine icons that were on there already so just again a bit of plastic glue and uh, get that stuck on there so and this is the beauty of us was doing these kit bashes they're actually relatively simple the complex part in this is the making the mold and casting things up and whatever um, and again i'll link my video down below about how to make those molds but it's something worth investing in these bits of kit that you can have for your bits box um, and and you know your pin drills or whatever yeah you've got to invest initially to start with but then it opens up a world of opportunities for what you can do and this was fairly quick and fairly simple the actual parts in this is probably no more than 20 pence worth of green stuff so definitely worth doing as you can see how the overall effect is looking back to that original shot uh, and that is the finished kit bash a couple of bits i'll do differently in the future just a bit of tidying up need to do a bit of work around the gun but this is how i painted it into the color scheme of my order so i'm really happy with it definitely better i think than the uh, actual models that workshop have released and you know really pleased so if you enjoyed that like, comment, subscribe, all the usual YouTube jazz, and I'm sure I'll see you next time.